So I'm testing my ghettoed electrode plated with a coat of compositized lead dioxide in a solution which is dilute sulfate solution. It's running at 5.1 volts at 2.5 amps. Even though I set it to 5, it seems to be, you know, staying roughly the same. Anyway, what I'm going to say is, if this thing works, then the uh, electrode will survive and not crack. However, if it fails, well, it's obvious what's going to happen. So I've altered the setup a bit. I've added some sodium chlorate and potassium perchlorate. I've upped the amps. You know, this is not an ideal setup still. Distance is very big. You know, based on running it in the plating cell, this would indeed run, you know, at 150 ma or 200 ma per centimeter squared if I were to have a saturated solution. But this is a test solution, so no. Anyway, I'm going to leave it running in this test solution with stirring on, just because we are simply only testing the whether or not these conditions are erosive to this electrode. So far, it seems that it's steady. Anyway, I'm going to let it run for like a day or so. And if there's signs of cracking, it means that a rep repeat or other process would have to be done. But I'm pretty optimistic. Okay, so it seems that the ruler's uh, text has gotten rubbed off now. The voltage is actually dropping, which is good. That's actually really good. But there is some erosion, which is to be expected because, you know, this is st still going to be a chlorate cell, which is a simulated one, but pretty much. Although the erosion is not that bad, I think this is mostly from either from the ruler or from the actual electrode. Let's check it out. Yeah, I mean, it's just from the top, it seems. Still looking good, it seems. Yep. Put this back down to maneuver it. Yeah, and after doing that, the voltage didn't really rise much. It's the same, which is really good, honestly. So... Stuff is still good, but after checking the electrode, indeed that erosion does seem to occur anyway, but it was it erodes differently from the last time I plated an electrode. Now normally when lead dioxide erodes, it normally came off in large plates, but I'm getting particle erosion, which means that the stuff underneath is still active. Now I'm just going to keep pushing this to the limit, see how far it goes, really. But this is actually good news that it's eroding like this and not the other way, you know. But, but overall, this is a expected result, to be honest. Anyway, the plating condition was just tested. It's not ideal. But overall, plating alpha lead dioxide, I mean... My final verdict on alpha lead dioxide is it's not as good as alpha beta, which is a mix of both, but making a beta lead dioxide bath is uh, <laughs> annoying. Anyway, I have lead nitrate. I can make lead nitrate easily. I have all the nitric acid in the world to run this thing. But, so, yeah. So here's the aftermath after the electrolysis. No titanium is showing. That's just a super glue layer that I decided to put on, which was pretty futile anyway. But the good news is this electrode at the very end was still functional and there was absolutely no damage to it except for a few powdery erosion, which means that indeed coating your titanium in some sort of uh, pre-coat indeed protects it and allows it to be used for the dioxide treatment. There's my other electrodes.